What is up everybody? It is the Whizzler, and I'm coming to you today with another 101 series on Nick Fury, and today we're going to talk about the synergies. So, Nick Fury has so much utility, he's got so much strength and so much power, but what he's most known for in the comics as well as the uh, MCU is his ability to lead his team and do so with courage and really conviction. And what he does for your team in MCOC is not all that much different. So today we're going to take a look at all of the different nuances that he can provide to your team. Um, and we're going to start with some of the basic synergies. The first one is Nick's leadership. And it states, all heroes except Nick gain a 10% attack rating. This boost is doubled if Nick is dead. It does not stack with duplicate synergies. So, pretty powerful synergy right there for any team members. Now, they have to be hero champions. That's the key to that one. If they're a villain, mercenary, they don't receive that synergy buff. So, got to keep that in mind. Now, there's some instances where you're going to want to kill him off and get a 20% attack boost. But more often than not, you're going to want to keep him alive to really take advantage of of all of the other amazing synergies that Nick Fury provides. Restoration Kit is probably the most popular of Nick Fury's synergies. And it states, all champions except for Nick, if Nick is alive once per fight when a teammate is inflicted with a bleed, poison, or shock debuff, he will drop a Restoration Kit, purifying the debuff and regenerating 10% of their max health over three seconds. This is unique synergy and does not sack with duplicate synergies. This is pretty powerful. We're going to take a look at what that looks like. It is most commonly used for uh, shrugging off the suicide um, masteries at the beginning of fights. This is very powerful for questing um, to use with champions that may not be immune and get rid of that bleed coming from the um, double edge mastery that pretty much ticks away a lot of your health at the beginning of the fight, and you gain health from this. So it is a very powerful mastery. And yes, I know this has been nerfed a bit since the inception. However, it's still pretty powerful. So let's take a look at what it looks like. So you see here, both of the suicide masteries were applied at the beginning of the fight, but the bleed from Double Edge was removed and purified, and a passive regeneration was applied. Now, a passive regen is actually quite helpful in a couple of areas of the game, but nevertheless, the fact that you regen at the beginning of a fight is great for questing. So, very powerful synergy for the rest of your team, especially if you run suicides. So the next synergy is Strategic Sabotage. This is a fan favorite of a lot of top tier alliances. Um, this synergy is the equivalent of one of the Alliance War Grey boosts that allows you to avoid the first three hits of a fight. But essentially what this one does is allows you to evade the first three hits of the uh, fight. So, what it states is all champions except Nick. If Nick is alive, the first three unblocked hits from the opponent have a 100% chance to be evaded. Now, the key is that it's evaded, so there's a couple of different advantages that this has for a few champs. Um, but you do avoid three hits. So, we'll start there. It's powerful in and of itself with just that. But there's a couple of champs who benefit from using their evade mechanics. Um, the first one that comes to mind, and I use her quite frequently, is Wasp. And Wasp has an evade mechanic, and it doesn't happen 100% of the time. But if you can evade, it will allow her to shrug off debuffs, thus making her even more suicide friendly. So with this synergy, if you have Wasp in your team, you will be able to shrug off your suicides. So, also take note that Ant-Man is part of that synergy. So now you have an even more of a reason to use the Quantum Trinity. More on that later. The next synergy, increase firepower. 
All champions except Nick. If Nick is alive, when the fight starts, he grants his teammates a buff, doubling their critical rating for 10 seconds. Unique synergy does not stack with duplicate synergies. So this one includes two um, pretty powerful champs, but not somebody that you would probably use all the time. Uh, both of them are the OG Black Panther and Black Panther Civil War. Um, there's a couple of other things to note is that these are both skilled champs that add a pretty powerful synergy for Nick Fury if you add both of them to your team. And that allows his bleed damage to increase by a percentage based on what star level uh, the Black Panthers are. And that synergy comes from the Civil War Black Panther. That one is amazing. And you can use it to, if you want to farm potions in Realm of Legends and knock it out in like 15-20 minutes, you can just have three Black Panther Civil Wars and one OG Black Panther. And you now have an amazing amount of bleed damage for Nick Fury. But why would you want to have your critical rating doubled? Think about using it for a Legends run. I actually personally attempted a Legends run on um, one of uh, my other accounts with a Stark Spidey. I wanted to see if he could still do it. And it wasn't even a maxed out Stark Spidey. It was rank 5, but he was not SIG 200. And I used that synergy to help give him a little bit of a boost at the beginning of the fight. And I was able to do it 3 minutes higher than um, a different run that I did with Corvus on this account. So, to be honest, it's actually pretty powerful if you want to do some speed running. It's also pretty powerful if you need to get through fights really fast. So to have that crit rate increase for 10 seconds is pretty big. The next one is Contingency Plan. And this one states, all champions, if Nick is alive, all Fury buffs have a 20% increased duration, including his own. This is a unique synergy, does not stack, with duplicate synergies. So this is the first one we've seen that actually applies to Nick. So something to keep in mind there, he has a fury mechanic that even though he you really want to dupe him and you want him to, to die off so you have the really powerful Nick Fury, before that happens you have that rotational tactical charge where if you get to 20 you get a time-based fury. And it's a fury's fury so it is the regular double strength Nick Fury, but it's a time limited Fury. This gives you 20% extra time with one of the Captain Marvels on your team. And the new one, who is also an amazing champion, if you have her, really, really popular and really powerful. Very, very recommended synergy. If you don't, it's not really recommended, but um, if he's duped, you may not even use this too much if you're using him, but there's a lot of other champions that have Fury buffs, and there's a lot of nodes in the game that require you to have Fury buffs. I think about Caustic Temper, uh, things like that, that this synergy will help you maintain your Fury so you can do the damage required as per the node details. Extreme Conditions Kit. This is probably the most underutilized and under-respected synergy that I have seen in the community thus far, yet it is one of the two most powerful synergies that Nick Fury provides to his teammates. So it states, all champions except Nick, if Nick is alive once per fight, a teammate is inflicted with any cold snap, frostbite, or incinerate effect, he will drop an extreme conditions kit granting debuff immunity for 10 seconds. I'm going to repeat that. Debuff immunity is granted for 10 seconds. So I'm going to give you an example of where this might be very valuable to you as a summoner in the current meta of the game. So look at the champions that provide this synergy. You've got Civil Warrior, you've got Punisher 2099, and both OG Iron Man and Iron Man Infinity War. Not the greatest champs. However, one of them is actually pretty popular, Iron Man Infinity War. So... Regardless, if you're running map 7, if you're running Ares of Act 6, you're bound to run into one of these effects. And one of these effects can be seriously detrimental to multiple characters. But what could you do with 10 seconds of debuff immunity? I can tell you what I do. I run uh, the, depending upon the week, on map 7, the Incinerate 30 path uh, in section 2. It's path 1 in section 2 of map 7. And quite often, I will bring Nick Fury. I also run the Do You Bleed path 
um, in Section 3, and I will bring Iron Man Infinity War. And what that does is it allows me to go completely debuff immune, and I just haul ass through Section 2, and I can almost use any champ to clear that. The Incinerate 30 is immediately removed, so I do not gain any Incinerate damage at all, so all of my health that would be depleted over 30 seconds doesn't even happen anymore. So now the fight's normal. And I'm debuff immune for 10 seconds. Completely debuff immune. So it doesn't matter who I'm facing. I can't be stunned. I can't take any of those debuffs that they may be able to apply. The first champ that I fight, I believe, is Moon Knight. So I'm not going to get bled. So really, really powerful synergy. And it also is Cold Snap. So consider that. We now have a new champ in the game that offers that effect as a debuff. And we might see some more of it. Something to keep in mind for the future. The final synergy that I'm going to discuss with everyone today is Power Kit. Now, again, the last one I thought was probably the more powerful of all of the ones that he provides, but Power Kit is also very, very good. So it states, if Nick is alive once per fight when a teammate is inflicted with an effect that would reduce or block their power, he will drop a Power Kit. It removes the effect and it grants them one bar of power over 10 seconds. So... How does that actually work in a real match? You know, what do you think about how many champs have a mechanic that either reduces your power, locks your power, or blocks it in any way, shape, or form? Think about Warlock was just introduced, and he has a power drain mechanic built into his base kit. He doesn't even have to do anything crazy other than get hit or hit you to apply it. If you get a virus, you can be impacted by this kit or this effect. So this synergy can be powerful. So let's take a look at how it operates in the real world. So this is just a Loki fight with Winter Soldier. And as you can see, Winter Soldier has the a percentage chance to reduce your power with each hit. And he reduced Loki's power here. And all of a sudden, I just did a single combo and now I'm back up to an SP2. How advantageous is that in a real-world application? There are tons of power draining components, nodes, that we face on a daily basis in all areas of the game. Think about when you might want to use that. I don't bring Loki to every fight, but if I'm in a position to take a synergy member, I might bring him just for that feature. So, to recap the 101 series for Nick Fury, we went over the basics, we went over his signature ability, the life model decoy, and today we discussed a little bit about his synergies um, for the rest of your team, as well as a couple for himself, um, and when you would want to use them. There's a few key synergies that you probably will lean on more than the others. There's a couple you may never use. That's okay. The important thing is to find out, if you have Nick Fury, what star level is he? Do you have all of them? The last two synergies that I reviewed with you, I believe, are five star plus uh, for Nick Fury. Um, and that's because of the power that they provide and the content in which they uh, counter. So Cold Snap and Frostbite and Incinerate effects are not everywhere in the game at the moment, but they are in some of the end game content and they hit really hard at that area of the game. So I really hope that this was helpful. If you just pulled a Nick Fury or you're hoping to pull a Nick Fury, kind of gets your feet under you. And I really wish everyone the best of luck learning how to use them because there's a, so much to this champion. Um, I really thank everybody for watching. If you liked what you saw, please hit that button below, subscribe for more, and I will be back next week with the next 101 series. Thank you, everybody, and see you soon.